While the city council will vote on the matter tomorrow, President Ben Gray says members really don't have a choice. When the bill comes due, we have to pay it. Nearly $240,000 on the city's tab for this suspect's medical care. I would imagine that you will see a couple of council members hold their nose and vote yes, but, you know, we have an obligation to take care of this. The city law department sent this letter to the council explaining its duty to pay up. State law requires the city to cover any necessary medical treatment given to patients while they're in police custody. The technical definition is that he was in police custody. He is John Azell Jr. Omaha police shot him several times back in September near 26th and Laurel. Officers say Azell Jr. fired first, hitting officer Ken Fortune in the shoulder. The gunfire started with a traffic stop by the gang unit. We last saw Azell Jr. in October, his arm still in a sling as he faced a judge. He spent a month and six days at Nebraska Medicine. He didn't have medical insurance. The total bill was about $480,000. Through negotiations with the city, Nebraska Medicine agreed to charge half of that. Gray says approving the payout is necessary, but not easy. I can't remember the last time we had a bill this big. Now, Ezell Jr. remains in jail on $3 million bond. He faces multiple charges, including attempted murder. Now, Officer Ken Fortune returned to work in early October, and again, the city council will vote on that medical payout at tomorrow's meeting. Reporting live downtown, Taylor Barth, KETV News Watch 7.